So it seems that the cancer that is Thundercats War is being cancelled. After its first season. And Thundercats War is basically the lowest a cartoon can ever get. Absolutely nobody likes this. And Cartoon Network say he thinks that, you know, people like stuff like Teen Titans Go. You know, movie CEOs think that Teen Titans Go was so great that every movie must be like it. Well, Teen Titans Go is not funny. It isn't good and nobody likes it. Okay? It's the same thing of animated movie studios. They think they can turn out the same goddamn pieces of crap over and over and over again and expect success. <laughs> it only works for so long. Let's look at the movie Spies in the Skies, okay? No one watched it, and that movie is trying to emulate the same, like, six jokes that started in Teen Titans Go and Despicable Me. They're not funny. They get old after a while. What makes he and again, humor is subjective. You may find Teen Titans Go funny, but I don't. It isn't funny at all. The stories of Teen Titans Go is absolutely abysmal. The characters of Teen Titans Go is absolutely abysmal. And the same thing can be said to a Thundercats War. No one was watching this, so of course it's going to be cancelled. Nobody liked it. And Thundercats has an established fan base, on a, you know, f but Teen Titans Go did. But the difference between this and Teen Titans Go is Teen Titans Go is well beloved by little kids alike. And little kids are going to be like, oh, but Teen Titans Go is the greatest! And that's what keeps the soul from having a 2.1, like it rightfully deserves. And yep, it's just why do we keep making this? Thundercats War is cancelled. Because the soul sucks, no one wants to see it. Okay, why would anyone in a right mind want to see this? You know, basically... It's a mock to fun, uh, you know. It's a mock to Thundercats fans, people who like the little Thundercats. Of course, the critics like it, cause the stu, cause of course the white garb is like that. They, they, you know, Thundercats go is good, actually. So and it's just, it's a basically a big finger to the little cartoons fans, people who like the little cartoon, you know. And he also even had a crossover with Teen Titans Go. It was the same thing with the Powerpuff Girls So I'm talking about the newer one. The reboot of the Powerpuff Girls. I could do a rant on that piece of trash someday. You know what I'm talking about. The, the reboot of the Powerpuff Girls. They did the same thing. Like Teen Titans Go. Same thing. Okay. It's not funny. Nobody cares about this stuff. It's just like you take stuff we already loved. And you ruin it. Okay, I don't ever really have much connection with Thundercats, but Jesus Christ, they went, they took the Powerpuff Girls, and they took that so, and they made it sit. It's just how. Like, I thought, you know, some of the later episodes of Power Girls were egregious or boring or just, you know, recycled. But then, the reboot came around, and that's maybe a piece of even the worst episodes. We have some more horrible shows on Tita on. Uh, or on Cartoon Network, Uni Kitty. <laughs> Does anyone like Uni Kitty? No, it sucks. It's garbage. Okay, why would anyone watch this? <laughs> it's a freaking wit. You know, they're like, oh my god, people love the Lego movie so much. Let's milk it to the end. And that's what Uni Kitty is. It's basically the Lego movie, which is not that great. It is very overrated. It's something that only worked once, obviously, because they made a sequel, they made a, a TV show, they made a movie, another movie, and yeah, it's just nobody watched it, nobody cared, okay? The Lego Batman movie, like anyone even cares about the Lego Batman movie or the Lego Ninjago movie, people are defending it. Oh, it flopped. It's not that bad. Lego Ninjago movie was actually good. No, it flopped. Nobody cared about it. Same thing with the Lego movie 2. You find the Lego movie 2 in the $5 section of the movie set of the movie stores. Because no one wants to watch the freaking Lego movie 2. 
it was one of the big surprise flops of 2020 because nobody likes the Lego movie, nobody liked Yuri Kitty, and nobody liked the Lego Ninjago movie. Okay, they milked this crap until the end. Okay, and Thundercats War, now going back to Thundercats War and not talking about the Lego movie, I could talk about that piece of garbage in another video. But just, why did we make this? 52 episodes of talent wasted on essentially giving a middle finger to fans of the original because we have to try to recreate the Titans Go. Titans Go was such a big success, so we have to make a Thundercats version of it. We've survived Girls version failed. I can't wait till they make like a DC version of Titans Go. Because, or a Marvel version, or a... Or a is it uh, Titans Marvel or DC? I think it's DC. So, uh, DC version of T-Titans Go. Maybe a sequel to Super Friends. A show that, made, that ruined Aquaman's reputation until the Aquaman movie came out. Maybe we could have a sequel to that. Maybe we could have Amber Heard and Brie Watson in it as well for the extra horribleness. And we can even have some more horrible actors like Ben Affleck in it. Because who likes Ben Affleck? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Thundercats War is being cancelled already after the first season. The death of animated movie, the death of animation is truly, truly here. Okay. It's just, what are they coming up with these days? It, you know, most animated movie trailers are basically just like a bunch, they always have to throw like a few jokes in there for the kids. Or else kids might not find it relatable enough. It's just like absolutely ridiculous. Even the Soul trailer. If you look at the Soul Trail, oh, it's just, oh, it's a guy who knows how to play music, and then once they get to the Soul World, it's basically they try to put they try to play play a, play a bunch of cheap jokes in the movie. It's like this movie has like it's supposed to have a deep message according to the critics, but if you look at the trailer, oh, once they get to Soul Soul World, it's basically they have to play a bunch of cheap jokes to get the kids interested at least. It's just absolutely ridiculous. That's basically it. Goodbye.